You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be doing predictions for the WWE Super Showdown. Yes, live from Australia at, at 5, 5 o'clock in the morning. Yes. So what are you going to get up for it? You going to watch it live? Uh, I might get up at like 8 and then put yeah. it on. Maybe. Well, I get up at 5.30 every day, so yeah, there you go. there's a good possibility I'll probably be up. Yeah, there you go. That works. Um, I'll probably fall asleep. And then yeah, but the good it'll news... It'll be a full day's worth of uh, me catching it. Yeah, I was going to say, they did specify that you can watch it any time after it starts. Oh, thank God. From the beginning. Whew. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Good to know. I'm yeah. sure Michael Cole was the one to point that out, right? He did on Raw, and, and then Tom. Tom Phillips did on SmackDown. There you go. Um, and then he probably said it again on the Mixed Match Challenge. Right. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. As far as excitement level, meh. There will be no title changes on this show. I mean, there will be no title changes on the show. Probably not. There's only going to be three title matches, all of which are on SmackDown. Except Joe's for the cruiserweight. Yeah, whatever. Joe will lose. Actually, that might How be. How about the only we go one. through the matches? Okay, I guess that's true. That's <laughs> probably not a bad idea. I forgot we weren't doing our. Uh, anyway, uh, all right. Let's start with the cruiserweight one. Uh, all right, we so got we have... Cedric Alexander versus Buddy Murphy. Yes, the hometown boy. Buddy and Buddy Murphy, obviously, not yes. Cedric Alexander. No. Um, so we I don't mean, know anything about what's going on in 205 Live. Do not. But um, Buddy Murphy has been praised recently for improving. Yeah. He's been everything. good since he came to 205 Live. Um, so there's a good chance that they could do what you said, the hometown it hero makes kind of thing. sense. And considering that 205 Live's kind of, like I said, been out of our... Yeah, Attention. now it's a part of the three-hour show on Wednesday mm-hmm. with the uh, NXT and the Mae Young Classic. Yeah, um, I think it's fair to say, because I also think that Cedric as champion hasn't really been great. I mean, I don't, I don't know, you know? Yeah, we like don't, I said, I yeah, really I'm haven't going watched. Off of, yeah, I'm going off of what I've heard. Which is, again, a shame, because when I did watch 205, I did enjoy it. It's just that... That was pretty bad the, for a period of time, but... I, I don't know if bad was the right word. It was dull for a period I of guess, time. I guess, yeah. But I really think the main roster has just kind of killed my interest for any other WWE shows. Yeah, it makes sense. sad to say. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to pick Buddy Murphy. I think this is... Why not? Mm-hmm. Why not? Yeah, it's true. Um, I'm going to agree. It, it makes it makes sense, at yeah. the very least. I mean, like you said, Cedric's... Kind of a bland... Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's done anything great as champion. It seems like when I've watched uh, or read reviews of the show, it seemed like people pointed out other matches rather than Cedric. Which is not... I don't think he's done that much, Yeah, to be honest. Definitely not a good sign. But, yeah. Uh, Uh, You saw Neville returned? Yes. To Dragon Gate? Dragon Gate, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, that's something. Which is funny, a bunch of cruiserweights wrestled there... Current cruiser rates wrestled there previously before they came. To well, that's WWE. where Neville got his name, I think. Yeah. So, well, not his Talk. name, Neville. Yeah. Talk, but yeah. Uh, up next, we're gonna go with Oscar and Naomi versus the Iconics. See, I mean, again, another hometown hero. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would like to pick the Iconics just because you know it makes sense. They don't go there mm-hmm. ever. You yeah. think they would get the rub, but. At the same time, same time it's Asuka and two Naomi. two highly praised faces against two cowardly heels. Yeah, I just don't like the matchup, so to speak. Yeah, because and every, it's odd on this card. Yeah, I was gonna say but everything it, else, everything except for the location of the match screams Asuka and Naomi winning. I don't care. I'm picking the Iconics. Okay, I'll pick Asuka and Naomi. There we go. So we're gonna change think, it up a little yeah. bit. Uh, let's see. Up next, we'll go with. The six woman tag? Yeah, sure. We got the Bellas and Ronda Rousey versus the Riot Squad, assuming that Liv Morgan is actually cleared to wrestle. Yes. Um, so this could technically be a regular tag match. We could have someone else in it. Either way, I'm going with the Bellas and Ronda. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty obvious No choice. chance in hell. They're, because even like we saw in the mixed match challenge where they said that if Asuka didn't get pinned, she would technically have a loss on her record. And. Yeah. Ronda Rousey is not taking a loss. Yeah, 
Well, yeah, I, I also don't think that there makes any sense for the Riot Squad to win. Here no, anyway. no, no, not at all. So, uh, uh, and uh, like streaks and everything aside, it's just not. What's going to happen is I that get it. at the end of the match, they're going to be celebrating, and Nikki's probably going to just attack Ronda. That's something she's done before. It's not out of the question. Yeah, it's just weird. I agree. Or the Bellas both will team up on her, maybe. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that means that it's bad news for Ronda because yeah. Bree's going to actually At least hurt. we know we can leave early from Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so... Well, I guess up, up another next. match with no stipulations. Bobby Lashley and John Cena versus Elias and Kevin Owens. I'm intrigued on the match. It's mm. been a while since we've seen John Cena. That is true. I just read some weird thing that he wasn't coming back to the U.S. to wrestle or something like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Some weird thing. Yeah, it's weird, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Yeah, we haven't seen Cena since... Mania? Mania, yeah. That would make sense. Disappeared at the hands of The Undertaker. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Yeah, Cena and Lashley are going over Mm -hmm. here. And Leo Rush will be on the ringside. Mm -hmm. Uh, probably at the very least. I would assume so. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, we're not flying any extra people out. We it's possible they are cheap like that. So, uh, let's see. I guess we'll do a retirement home match. No, no, that's gonna be the main event. It is gonna be the main event. Yeah. Um, we'll do the new day versus the bar. Yeah. Um, uh, as much as I would like to see the bar hold the titles, I, I would the imagine new day is yeah, the going new... to retain. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the new day too. Um, they're again it's this the is new day yeah but this is gonna be a thing the bar and the new day are gonna, this is gonna continue mm-hmm. probably there's just no fine. other tag teams that they have done anything with on smackdown really yeah well there's the no usos have done nothing because they're doing the mixed match challenge or at least jimmy is yeah um also the, the good brothers have nowhere to be or nowhere to be found yeah well Sam. that and the new day and the usos kind of also did their packed thing oh right so. right right sanity haven't seen them uh eric rowan's hurt Mm -hmm. so there's no bludgeon brothers Mm -hmm. uh the shining stars we saw them once and then they were gone Mm -hmm. right they're still the shining stars no 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 the the, colognes yeah the colognes that's right uh yeah we saw them once right as Mm -hmm. tags yeah they're on like an eight person tag because they needed another team Mm -hmm. Uh, i think that's all the tag teams pretty much yeah yeah so whatever New Day will win. Yeah, it's large, largest roster probably ever, top to bottom, and we still get the same same mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. All yeah, time. they just don't understand tag team wrestling. That's what it is. Oh, wow, that there's truth to that. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, how about the Shield versus Braun, Dolph Ziggler, and Drew McIntyre? I think that's gonna be the second to last match, or you think that it'll go on before the WWE title? Uh, this will get booked higher. I don't think it'll be the second to last match, though. No? Because they usually have a buffer match. I guess between. so. So, this will be booked higher, but it will be done. I'm, I'm not doing this in any discernible yeah. order. Um, so what do you think? The Shield or the War Dogs? So dumb. I know. Uh, <laughs> the Shield's going over. You think that? I think so. I think that the war dogs are gonna win that's fine it's not it's not a, a wise decision because again although the last time i went against roman he did lose so <laughs> there's a chance i guess so i have a fighting chance yeah um but like this means nothing so you might as well get their win in now i guess that's fair that's so, a good way to look at it because the next time that they'll have a pay-per-view ch- shot is at Crown Jewel, mm-hmm. and there will be titles on the line. Yeah. So it makes yep. more sense to have them go over here instead of there. That is true. Um, oh, jeez. What? Nothing. I'm just thinking about the build between now or next week and Crown Jewel. It's just going to be the same thing. No, no. Nothing's changing. Nope. It's the and fun three part. Survivor Series. That's, we're just going to... That's the fun oh, part. Oh, man. Yeah, Raw is going to be oh. rough the next couple months. Jeez. Um, we got Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. The winner is the new number one contender for the WWE Championship. All right, so, you're ready. Well, actually, it's funny because I was we were going to think about it. That means that Joe, if he loses, will no longer be in the title picture. Yeah, but, yeah, which is weird. Like the way this whole thing is set up, because AJ and Joe makes sense to continue on. Which is weird when you think about it, because this is their third right pay per view match. 
Right. Usually we, they'll do a three. We've only had one match now for Crown Jewel, right? And it's a triple yeah. threat on yeah. Universal Championship. Although I'd imagine that it's going to be whoever wins this match against AJ. Do you think they're going to do it at Crown Jewel? Why not? I mean, it makes sense. Either well, that or SmackDown two, uh, 1000. Yeah, the only thing is that's two weeks away. I don't know if they're going to... doesn't matter. Rush it. Or... Why not? Or... or. All right. All right, so which match are we on? Daniel Bryan and The Miz? Yes. All right, so I'm going to pick Daniel Bryan. Tonight. Okay. And it's going to be, you know, we'll get this. Maybe their title match will be at SmackDown 1000, mm-hmm. and Joe interrupts, and they do another triple threat for Crown Jewel, with Joe still in the title picture. That's fine. It would make sense. And especially with Daniel Bryan being the winner. The Miz wins, Joe's gone. Right. For yeah. sure. And then what do we get? A Joe versus Daniel Bryan feud? I mean, that's fine. Yeah, it's something that people want. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. No, and, and if and you, AJ would be good. Yeah, because if you give if you give Joe motivation, mm-hmm. then it, it works. Because even if he's going to oh, yeah, lose, he's gonna lose that. Yeah. So, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna pick the Miz too. That's fine. Because I want the Miz to win. That's fine. I, uh, I already have the next Miz year. Miz versus AJ would be very yeah. good. I already have the next year of programming set, so it really doesn't. In your mind. Yeah. So the yeah. Miz winning fits into that yes. perfectly. And then I guess we will just go on to the WWE Championship match next. Yes, that would make sense. And AJ we're... Styles versus Samoa Joe. AJ is um, retaining. Yeah, with a, in, in a no disqualification match. Yeah. Um, I don't really think they're going to do too much except for maybe chairs. Mm, probably and not. And maybe fight in the crowd a little bit. Yeah. That's about it. But, I mean, it it would make sense for Joe to to gain the title, <laughs> but... I don't think it's so. It's just weird because, like, the sto- it just doesn't feel like the story's yet or ready to end, and then you're going to throw another number one contender in there. Like, you know? But uh, If anything, I think there's threat. a clear-cut reason for him yeah. retaining. I guess that's true. Is that they're gonna throw another? Yeah. Or, um, Joe beats up Daniel Bryan and demands to also still be in the picture mm, if Daniel Bryan true. wins. Yeah. That kind of thing. That's so fair. It's possible. Yep. I it just everything screams AJ retaining. Yeah. Him. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Um. Let's see. We got Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Oh, Becky's holding on to that title. Yeah. I, I said it. For the Hell in a Cell um, uh, predictions, I think that Becky will be taking that title going into Evolution at the very least. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't actually think she was going to win it there. But no, 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 no. Um, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. Is what it is. And then I think... You think we'll get a clear-cut win, what? or you think it'll be a screwy finish, Becky and Charlotte? Um, yeah, she'll probably, like, use the ropes or something. Something. Yeah, because she's not going to, like... Charlotte will have her foot under the ropes or something like that, mm-hmm. and the ref doesn't see yeah, it. Yeah, I, th- I think... I think they made it clear that they want Becky to, you know, do whatever she needs to win. I mean, that would kill any momentum she had if they just took the title off of her. Oh, oh, yeah, I was going to say, having her cheat to win is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Because, you know, that's what they're doing. She's like, I don't care. I just did my job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did anything it took to keep the title on my shoulder. Because this is what's most important, and that's what she's been preaching. And that's her motivation. Yeah. So that that's fine. Yes. Um, so I'm okay with that. I, again, we both agree Becky Lynch will be winning. Yes. Um, and then I think the last match is going to be the Triple H versus The Undertaker mm-hmm. with Shawn Michaels in Triple H's corner and Kane in The Undertaker's. Yeah. Um, with this eventually setting up a tag match at Crown Jewel. Probably from Between. the look of it. Yeah, I mean, we saw Shawn Michaels taking some bumps. That was as good of indication as any. Yeah, because obviously if he... But very rarely do people actually, you know, get choke slammed if they're not actually mm-hmm. cleared to And Triple H got Tombstone, right? Yeah, but Triple yeah. H is, you know, perpetually. No, I know. Um, I think Triple H is going to go over here. No. You nuts? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. At least you're willing to agree that you're Yeah, nuts. why not? Okay. Because, I mean, what other reason would The Undertaker have to i don't i don't know just you really it. think that triple h losing isn't motivation to actually triple continue H never thing never lays down for anybody the undertaker I twice the undertaker. three times at wrestlemania yeah i think it's gonna happen again yes <laughs> that's what this whole thing is about <laughs> i know yeah because this is triple h's he, he he doesn't think it's fair he's not gonna say that but 
him and the uh, Shawn Michaels. The every time. Yeah, him and Shawn right. Michaels are gonna are gonna say, okay, we can do this as a team, and then they're gonna face the two of them at Crown Jewel, and that's when Triple H and I Shawn Michaels win. Yeah. So you think that? Yeah. It's the complete opposite of everything Triple H has done over the last ten years. Yeah. Because Triple H is going to be the good guy, yeah. which is weird. Because yeah. right now they're the faces, but then again, as DX, they've pretty much always been the faces, minus a few blurred lines yeah. during the Attitude Era. But every post, every post WCW buyout mm-hmm. thing that DX has done has been um, as them being faces. faces. Yeah. So that's fair. But yeah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with that. All right. Triple H loses here. Wins at Crown Jewel. That's fine. That's fine. I'm proud of myself. Mm-hmm. I had thoughts. I think they want to see The Undertaker win more in Saudi Arabia. Probably true. <laughs> but still. Yeah? I, I, I still think there's, there's you know, a good reaction regardless mm-hmm. who wins. So it really doesn't matter. Yeah. And to be honest, if any title really changes hands here it's not going to affect anything because the feud's just going to continue on the show anyway yep so it'll just it'll just change it a little bit mm-hmm. it'll be the same yep but so, yeah yeah that, that was, was well i was gonna say that's it all right well that was our wwe super showdown preview and predictions video yeah. yes if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye